Hello friends, Phil Bechtel here with another fun game. Now this game, you can tell right away. You don't even have to be able to read. You could probably see what episode this game is about, right? We've got the many stomachs of our bull. We've got our bull farting meter right here. There's a big sign, bull farting, right? This is when Tim and Ray started the big bull farting contest. And there's even in the audience here, you can even see there's a mist fairy. Some witches, there's a racing chicken. Maybe that's old Mrs. Giggle Pickles. There's a goblin here to see the show. It's a good time. I'm going to read you the introduction, and then we're going to go through a game the way I like to play it. Now, there's different ways you can play it. They're all pretty fun, but I'm going to share with you my favorite. So it starts out, the title is Bull Farting Trainer. It says, you're a bull farting trainer. It is your job to get your bull ready to do their best at the big bull farting championship by feeding him all the most fart-inducing foods imaginable. Burritos, nachos, sauerkraut, etc. But be careful not to feed him too fast. You'll need a pencil and a play sheet for each player and five dice to share. Choose one player to go first. So, on your turn, you feed your bull by rolling a die. And you continue feeding the bull by rolling more dice until something happens. So I'm going to share with you again the way that I like to play the game. And I like to play where we roll for each stomach. And if you get a matching number, then the bull will have eaten too fast. He will burp. And you will get a zero in the stomach. So anytime you match numbers in a stomach with your dice rolling, the bull will burp and you will lose that stomach's point total, right? You won't score that stomach. So then your total will be less. So let's see. Let me show you. So I'm going to roll one dice to start out. Ready? I'm just going to drop it here so it doesn't go away. It's a three. So on a dice, the most, on a six-sided die, the biggest number is a six, right? And I kind of want the biggest number I can get in each stomach. So I know that if I roll again and if I roll a three, this poor bull will have eaten too fast and burp, he won't get anything. But I'm going to press my luck because that's what kind of game this is. This is a press your luck game. So I'm going to roll again and I'm going to see if I can add to this total here. Ready? Oh, it's a three. Okay, so that means this bull has uh, burped and I get a zero in this stomach. So this, this means my total fart score is going to be less. So I tried to feed him. I'm going to imagine I tried to feed him three pizzas and then three other pizzas right, right behind it. And it was just too much. So let's go on to the second stomach. I'm going to roll one dice. It's a four. I like that number. I do. It's more than half of the total of the dice. Or it's, I'm going to, or it's more than, more than half of the, of the, the D6, right? Half would be three. So it's a little better than half, but I'm going to roll again. I'm going to press my luck. Let's see. It's a three. I like that. So these don't match, so I can keep both of them. Let's see what they are added up. We can start with a four and then count right? Four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to keep that score and move on to stomach number three. I could roll again, but if I got a three or a four, my poor bull would burp that out. So I'm going to roll again for stomach number three. Ready, Freddy? It's a two. That's ah, too low for me. I'm going to keep going to see if I can get a bigger score. I'm going to roll again for stomach number three. Oh, I got a two. <laughs> I got a two. So he, the numbers match. So it was the bull, we imagine that the bull was eating too fast and he burped, he burped it right up and I get another zero. I can already tell this is not going to be a good score, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to press my luck and see what I get in stomach number four. Ready? A two. Low number. I'm rolling again. Rolling again. A four. And you know what? I'm going to get crazy. I'm going to roll a third time. If I get a two or a four... It burps out and he doesn't get anything, but let's see. Maybe I'll get a six. It's a three. I'll take it. Two, three, four. Let's count it up. Four. Let's start with a two. Two. And then we count up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. 
and then a nine and a seven. Those are bigger numbers. They're a little bit more difficult to add. You can ask your grown up for help, but I know that a nine and a seven is, let's, you know what, let's do it. Let's do it together, okay? Um, I'm gonna use my fingers. A lot of times we use our fingers to add. I'm gonna put the nine in my head and I'm gonna put the fingers in front of my face. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fingers. Now I've got the nine in my head, so I'm gonna start with nine and I'm gonna count up from there. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Nine plus seven is 16. My total score was a 16. Now I know I've got two zeros. I could have done better than that, right? I think so. Now there's, there are other ways to play. Uh, that's my favorite way to play. My son Jackson, he likes to play as the rules are specifically written. So that means you roll on your turn, you feed your bull by rolling a die, right? You continue until one of three things happen. You decide that he's eaten enough and you move on to the next stomach. And what's cool is these have two. So we can, I'm going to scoot this up and we'll use this one. So I roll the one. Okay. If I roll all five dice, I can keep rolling and do it again. But the idea is that if you have three matching, then the bull burps. I like to play where there's where you only have two that match and then there's a burp. But other people like to play where there's three. So let's play that way so you can see how that plays out, right? You've got your five dice. Let's roll for stomach one. I'm going to roll a five. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to roll a one. Okay. Nothing matches yet. This is great. A six. Nothing matches yet. So I get to keep all those dice. Another six. Okay. Now here's the gamble. Here's where I'm pressing my luck. If I roll another dice and I get a six, then I will have three of the same and my bull will burp it out and I'll get a zero in this stomach. I don't want that to happen. So I'm not going to roll another one. I'm going to take this total score. Now I'm going to add this up for the sake of time. I'm going to add this one up a little quicker. I know that six and six is 12 and then 13 and then five is 18, right? So there's 18. Now I can do it again for the second stomach. I'll do the second stomach and then we'll move on with our video, right? So let's see, because I think you will have gotten the idea. And I like to line up my dice. It helps me remember and it helps me keep everything in order. There's a two, there's a one. Boy, that's a low score, isn't it? I'm gonna keep going. Another one. Now, here's where I have to think. If I roll another one to get three ones, that'll be three matching and my bull will burp and I'll get zero. But, oh, it's such a low score. Two, three, four. I'm going to do it. I'm going to press my luck. I got a three. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to press my luck and see if I can get a bigger score in stomach two. So I do not want to roll a one. Let's see. <laughs> Roll the one. Oh, uh, even though I get a zero, I always think it's funny. You know, it's kind of like funny because I'm like nervous about it. I'm like, oh, I don't want that one. I don't want it. But then I roll and I get it. And he burps everything out. When you get three matching ones, you imagine that the bull ate too fast. We pressed our luck too hard. Burp. And our total for stomach two is a zero. So now you get how to play the game. You can play it as it's written in which you use a lot of dice. You end up using a lot of dice and there's a lot of counting and that can be very fun for some of us. Or you can use the way I taught you at the beginning, which uses fewer dice. There's less counting and sometimes it's a little more manageable and a little more fun for some of us as well. So this is the bull farting trainer. I hope you had fun um, playing the game. Oh, by the way, let's look here. It says, if you are playing alone, you win if you get at least 16 points. Up here, I was playing by myself, I got 16 points, I barely won. Anyway, that's always fun. So I hope you enjoy the game. Have fun playing it. Let me know if you played it. Send me an email or a message and let me know what your high score was. Tell me if you were able to get better than 16. You can even send me a picture if you want. I think that would be really cool. 
um, for me to see that you guys enjoy these games, that you're having fun with it, and what the highest score is. Maybe we can keep a, a high score tally on the Patreon to see which one of us are able to get the highest scores. Thanks for listening, friends. Enjoy the game.